Hi, it's a constant angler. Um, as you can see in front of you, uh, I've just recently taken up uh, jig fly pike fishing. Uh, previous video I was fortunate enough to catch on my first proper outing. Um, what I caught on was this uh, 13 inch mega jig fly made by uh, Flies for Preds. Look them up on Facebook, they've got a, a shop or online. Uh, we'll put um, links in the description below but as you can see with this one it's got one big sort of 6.0 size hook and a 6 gram weight with a little under eye there which you could put an under spin on nice big eye it's orange uh, and white with some sort of hackle going down through the middle which I guess represents a uh, lateral line has a second hook at the back and as you can see in there has a couple of uh, luminous beads yeah as I say it caught me a pike of six to eight pounds so I was quite happy with that first first proper outing uh, just recently purchased some more so we've got this one here uh, flies for preds basically make their own but also import from other people as well this is one of their own this is the extreme perch smaller not a double hook one there this time smaller uh, hook on there I'd say there's probably about a 4050 and um, a five gram weight I've got a big bushy bait fish here from flies for preds um, silver red uh, nine inches long um, does have another stinger in the back there smaller hook um, I debarb them I debarb all my hooks wherever I'm fishing unless I'm dead baiting and then I'll uh, I might keep do what they call semi barbless so one of my trebles or the bait holder will uh, will keep one of its bobs but yeah it's something you gotta watch out for uh, got this one recently as well and um, this one's an extreme copper it's a size 60 hook and um, it's five gram weight uh, talking about weights um, you know you can put your own on which I'll uh, describe in a bit more detail soon a um, couple here made by uh, a chap called Danny Parkins which I source through fly for Preds he also sources other people's um, you know this is a five gram again I think GK that's generally the sort of size I go for and uh, I think one's a bleeding roach and one's a rud pattern not quite sure which one's which but they, they both look like great lures to me um, another one I have is this one which is a flies for pred again 6.0 hook standard 5 gram head um, but this is a um, find it there, time saver perch um, so yeah you can you can get carried away with these and you know as lure anglers are like we usually do but you don't need too many. Um, uh, as I said, uh, it would be easy to get carried away. Now, if we're talking about tackle, then I, what am I fishing these with? Well, uh, the reel I'm using, or I shall use, even though I didn't in my last video, is a Pen Slammer 3500. It's got a wonderful drag on it, 30 pounds drag on it. They're just built like tanks. And I've, uh, Paired this with a um, 40 pound spider wire super line stealth smooth eight camo braid. Uh, yeah, this is actually 44 pounds or 20 kilos. That's going to do the job. It's a nice fine braid as well, but not too overly fine. Um, the traces I'm currently uh, using, I'll put links to all this gear in the uh, description. Trace I'm currently using is one I made myself here. so. You want a bit of stiffness so you don't get too many tangles um, but not overly stiff i've actually done a video on making this uh, pike jig fly trace you can check that one out but it's basically 40 pound jarvis walker coated wire comes with its own crimps and then i've put some shrink tube over the end of the swivel not so much as it won't spin and i've got a breakaway um Sherlock, um clip on there um, and now as I said you can add weight so you can buy flies not jig head flies and there's some wonderful patterns and flies for preds does do the same so you there's a couple of ways I've thought about it uh, this is a Cheb head um, it's a two seven gram Cheb head you can get them in all sorts of sizes you could basically just thread that around your um, your clip clip your fly as normal to here and you've got your extra weight now I haven't done this yet but I'm sure that's gonna work 
and it's not going to open that clip up. Um, you could also um, let's just undo this one. It's quite an easy thing to do. You could also put a small arsley bomb on there as well, various sizes. I wouldn't go too heavy. I found I'm fishing in canals. Um, haven't fished in the rivers yet. We don't have too many pike in our rivers down here. Um, <clears throat> but uh, reservoirs. And, uh, you know, I don't need too much weight to get these down. You generally want to keep them up near the surface layers anyway, in the canals, shallow lakes I may fish. If I do go a reservoir, I can add a different, there is a different option, which you would have seen in my pike jig fly video, which is basically um, a, it's made by Dragon V Clip, I think they're called. There will be a link in the description so you get all these things. And they do these in um, various sizes, it's 20 grams, so we could really get this these jig flies down there if we were in a boat vertically fishing or want to cast a large distance from the shore maybe in a deep water reservoir and you can just put that on your clip as well and do the same thing if you watch a video i have done um obviously the heavier the the weight you're using the bigger the clip you're gonna need on there um there's a little interest for you it's not something i've tried yet so but you know i like a rattle with a lure well some do come with rattles i haven't got any at the moment but um i've got a you've seen me in my ass video fishing videos these are jewelry beads hopefully you can hear that and um, you can thread one of those on so uh, it would just hang on your clip and vibrate as well so that's just a little idea I haven't seen anyone else doing usually they will come with built-in rattles but you've seen my RAS videos well, if you haven't checked them out this does make a big difference especially when there's a bit of color in the water but it's ability in the water it helps fish hone in on these things um, so yeah so that's the trace I'm using at the moment or <clears throat> I did actually this is what I used in that video um, it's a um, Kamatsu Wolfram titanium leather um, this is in about 40 pounds breaking strain something close to that uh, you can buy these pre ready made you check them out on eBay you'll find them if you type that in they're very good actually they're quite reliable um, it's titanium so quite strong don't kink too much cheap enough to buy you can get yourself half a dozen of these and uh, you're good to go or you can make your own now I would like to use fluorocarbon but none of the um, <clears throat> venues that I fish actually allow it but you would need to use at least 80 pound fluorocarbon um, I did buy a fly leather designed for these from um, flies for preds uh, they're made by pred, uh, partridge as you can see but I haven't quite worked out what I'm going to do with this yet and uh, how I'm going to attach it. And well, I'll, in a future video, I probably will show you. So I've talked about the reel, the braid, the trace. What about the rod? Well, I'm undecided at the moment. If I'm using the spinning gear, then I've currently got a um, Sakura Species uh, 802 MHS in 15 to 45 grams and obviously it's eight foot i do like that bit of extra length i prefer even eight and a half foot maybe uh just when you're fishing around snags and things like that you can steer the fish around a bit better um but the other day i was using my uh, bait casting setup and well i caught um it's just what i grabbed at the time it was an impromptu trip um so that can be left to you a bit you need enough strength to bully a pike in but not too much strength or <clears throat> stiffness in the tip that you can't flick these relatively light flies out uh, what else can we say we've gone through we've done the rod the reel oh the box so the box I got them in is something I was recommended by the chap at flies for parades Dave I can't remember his second name I'm useless like that um, this is a flambeau WP5005. Now I like this size box because you can remove dividers as I've done there and it seems to fit my flies in. I've got a little section here for various bits. You can see I actually got a frog in there, which is what I took off my rod was rigged on my rod. Um, but you can fish these things, you know, as well. You can have something like that in here. You could have a jerk bait in there as well if you wanted, or spinner baits. And then I got a little compartment I made for my weights, etc. These blue things are the key with these boxes, they're not cheap but they are anti-rust. So if we talk about looking after your flies, you keen eyed among you may have noticed, I have a comb. Now I could probably do with a wider comb, um, but during use, after use, 
<clears throat> uh, if you're fishing in fresh water, obviously, you, you shouldn't need to rinse them, but they, they need a bit of combing just to get them back into shape. Now, I found with this standard comb that it can actually take a few too many fibres out for my liking, so the lure wouldn't last forever, which I don't suppose they're going to do anyway. Um, but leave them to dry somewhere, hang them up, because what happens is these hooks will rust otherwise, and uh, we don't want that. Um, so yeah, you'll need some sort of comb. You're not being vain. It's for your lures. That one happened to fit quite nicely there. I might pull a couple of prongs out a bit see if it uh, makes a difference um, but yeah these blue little dividers are anti-rust things and they're supposed to put some sort of react with the air and put some sort of vapor or something around your lures to protect them from rusting so I've just left the dividers that came with it in there they are the key things the blue dividers with these boxes it's a great size for me it's a perfect size because as you know I like my um, Savage Gear lure bag which I have uh, I can show you. I'm not doing very well locking this. But there we go. Um, <clears throat> well, I can show you that, you know, this is the size boxes that go in there, and I can get two of those in there. So I could fit this and that in that bag. So I could take my jerk baits and stuff like that, a little bit of that, and this. I probably won't, to be honest. I'm so enthralled with this and like the idea it's very lightweight this could fit in any bag really but i need to have you still need to take your cutters your pliers forceps with you to unhook those pipe um because we want to look after them um yeah i think that's about it for now that's uh as far as i've gone with it um other than to maybe um you can see I bought this one from Veal's Mail Order. They give me a little sticker. Other than to mention a few other people, I mentioned uh, Paul Bickley's channel the other day uh, in my video there. I've been watching a few things he's done. Um, Lure Days is another um, jig fly pike fishing channel that I, I like watching. Uh, he's doing some good first stuff on there, catching some nice fish. And, of course, one of the go-tos are... Uh, uh, Black Country Piker, he's got a wonderful channel on there. Uh, lots of jig fly fishing and other lure fishing for pike. And of course, wouldn't be complete without mentioning River Piker, who, um, great to see him back doing his own videos. So thanks for watching. Hope that's of use to some of you. As I said, I'm not an expert on this, uh, but I am becoming obsessed with it. So hopefully I'll get better as I go along. Thanks again. Please like and subscribe and even hit that notification bell. And uh, yep, catch you again.